and Wyatt and during the coronavirus uh, I've been looking through our older videos that we haven't posted and this one was one that was really cool I think it's interesting enough to finally post while you know everyone's stuck at home so check it out this is Wyatt um, no Zach today um, I am finally doing a video by myself I guess so um who are you and what is this uh, behind the camera you can't see it. <laughs> What is this? This uh, I'm Dominic. This is my uh, 1987 Dodge Daytona Pacifica. All right, so it's an 87 Daytona Pacifica. It is a turbo. A um, little bit about it. Um, it has what a 2.2 liter yep. four cylinder front wheel drive. Um, I drove it. I, I drove it a little bit already, and it, um, it's interesting. Um, it's an automatic, which is also one of the reasons why Zach is not here because he has problems. He doesn't know how to drive automatic. Let's just say. Um, yeah, um, it's weird. So you get on the gas and it's like really laggy at first. I'm like, okay, it's got like no power. And all of a sudden it builds boost all of a sudden, but it's not like crazy, but it's, it feels really good though. So it's a weird car. It, um, this is like the era when like the whole muscle cars were dead and Dodge had like come back with something sporty to get their brand back alive, I guess. And, uh, they made this. It's, um, it's a Charger Daytona. <laughs> Um, it's so weird. I love the interior. It's got like the, the most detailed, like you wouldn't expect all this stuff to like be in the interior. It's got like the, the date on it, like in the, in the dash, like the, and like the time is next to it. It's got like a boost gauge in it and it goes to like, I don't know, what does it rev out to like 7,000 RPM at like the red line? It's, uh, it's so rad. Um, it's a shame that it's not a manual though. It'd be really fun as a manual. Why don't you get a manual one? I have two others that are five speeds. <laughs> Well, one of them has a Hemi in it. No, well, that, that's a six-speed. We'll save that for another day, though. But um, yeah, it's pretty much bone stock, right? Has there anything been done to it? Nothing. No. Just bone stock. It's it's a this thing has been really well kept. It's got it's got a little few problems with it, like like the leather stripping, but like, other than that, like the paint is like really. Is it the original color? The yes. God damn, the color is just, it's so good. Like in this, you can't tell. Like the but the the sun just really makes it red. It's so good. Um, turbo on the side. Um, the interior is, I think, I think my favorite part right now is the interior. It's just all the, the cool rad stuff on the inside. Like it's, I, mean, ugh, I don't know how to describe it. It's just so good. Um, it's a weird, it's really weird too. Um, it's also really difficult to do this without Zach. <laughs> um, pop-ups in the front, as you will see. Yeah. Um, that's really all I have to say about it. It's, it's just a really weird car from the 80s. It's got all the 80s lines. It's boxy. It's, it's wedgy. It's, um, it's, 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 it's got a lot of stuff with it too. Like even, even with the seats, it's got like, 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 I think it's like, what, 42 way power adjustable seats. There's like, 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 like thigh support and, um, like bolstering and stuff on the side to like tighten it a little bit. It's all, it's all power too. It's crazy. Um, and that's really about it. Let's go ahead and drive it. All right. Let's drive the Daytona Z. Is it a Daytona Z? Pacifica. Pacifica. What, what, so what's the difference between the Z and the Pacifica? The Z was, uh, it was a higher end model, but it was, uh, performance level. The, Lab, uh, it was replaced by the Shelby Z in 1986. The, the the Daytona Z, right? Yes. Okay. It's a little old. It wants to takes a few cranks to start up. All right, you want to hold that like down here. All right. Automatic power. So this is actually your car, right? Yes. Is it, is it, is it in your name or is it your dad's car? That's not important. <laughs> 
<laughs> we'll cut that out. <laughs> what, what, should we delete that clip right now? Well, yeah, Zach will edit it out. He's going to put it in there just to be a I hope he doesn't. <laughs> uh, all right, let's drive the Daytona Pacifica. So this has been really nostalgic kind of for me lately because I did, I recently just watched The Wraith, which is like an old 80s movie, and it has like Charlie Sheen in it. And there's a lot of these cars in it. And there's uh, like the, and the bad guy drives like a weird like C3 Corvette with it's and it's like a 76 Corvette with like a 80 81 or 80 front end on it. it looks super weird. And on the back it has a um, a C4 Corvette back end. And there's all kinds of like like Daytonas in the car. Like the first scene there's a Daytona that they stop and they take the car. It's so cool. Watch the Wraith. Really cool 80s movie. But we're getting off topic. Let's drive the Z, Data or Pacifica. It makes fooling sounds. <laughs> That's so cool. You hear turbo whistle. That's so cool. Top speed says 125, but I don't think it can do that. No, it cannot. <laughs> what do you like about this thing since it's yours? It's comfy. It's actually so comfy. It's this weird tan with plastic and I think the wheel is leather, but it's so hard. It's like it feels like plastic. It's weird. This color is called almond. Almond? Yes. Oh my god. That's cool. That's pretty rad. You can't hear the turn signals clicking. No, Weird. and it feels like you're in a brake stalk, right? Yeah, it's yeah. it's like stiff and crispy. All right, let's get some boost. We have a boost gauge in the dash. We're like eight pounds. <laughs> Woo! This is actually how I expected it to feel, which is weird. I, I, well, I guess I kind of felt like it might have a little less power, but that's good. This is actually pretty good for the 80s, I think. That doesn't even matter though. This car is so comfy. And you have so many things like it says like Sunday, September 29th and the time. And there's all kinds of stuff like next to it. Like it even says how much like range you have in the fuel tank, right? Yeah. That's insane. And then, it, and then what was it like 37 miles we have left? Yes. And then you can convert it to like how many kilometers you have left. Yeah. There's so much. This is really advanced. It's crazy. I, I liked in the in the movie The Wraith, they were like, when they did the drag race and they were like bank shifting it with the, they were all automatic. I think every car in that movie was automatic. Every yeah. one of them. And they were all like slamming it in a, in a first and they would shift into second and then throw it in drive. Oh my God, it's kind of cringy, but it's so funny. Oh, it's got boost. It is slow. <laughs> it's a good slow. Okay, Zach, it's not a good canyon car, okay? I don't think you could build this to be a canyon car either. No, no you couldn't. No, no. It, it's, not, it's not physically possible. <laughs> Zach would not like this. I don't think no. he would like it. <laughs> I think he's missing out though. He's, he's missing out, I think, on just the whole atmosphere of the inside of this thing. Boost gauge moving. What is this? Is that does that tell you the doors open or not? Yes. Oh, that's cool. There's like a little diagram of the dash that says like the you know, it lights up red. I'm sure. Yeah. That's so cool. Brakes are there. I don't know how good they are. But I'm sure they're good enough for this car. It's got cruise control. 36.4 average miles per gallon. What? No way. Now it says zero miles per gallon. Or is that like instant? Let's pretend it didn't say that. I'm I want to put, put it back on the other one where it said zero. Maybe that's like instant MPG. Yeah, I think so. Oh yeah, because that's the average. Now it just changes to six miles per gallon. <laughs> let's get seven, let's get seven. Seven! Yeah. 14. 14. 26. <laughs> 34. This is good. 36. That's not accurate at all. It can't be. There's no way. I mean, this car is so clean, though. That's got 85,000 miles. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, the steering's a little... Uh, bleh. Uh, I mean, it's it's definitely boaty. I wish you could build this to be, like, low and, like, handle good, but it's just not possible. I don't think, I don't think there's anything for this car. But you don't need to, though. I guess it, I don't know, it's, it's got a 
dead spot there. <laughs> but that doesn't matter. It still feels good though. Once you get past that dead spot, it comes kind of alive, I guess. A little bit. Let's do a turning radius test. Zach's not here for the turning radius. Is there an Alante there? Because we can't do it without an Alante. What? What do you mean? Zach, please put the clip of the spark review. There it is. Ooh, that's a that's an old Damn. Cadillac Alante front wheel oh drive V8. My God. This this has insane Ooh. turning. Radius. This is a great turning radius. Look at this. Oh, look at the Cadillac. We are turning on nothing. Cadillac Alante. Oh, it's all right. It's all right. That's a good turning radius. Give us some boost. Woo! <laughs> it doesn't throw you back in the seat, but you can kind of feel the boost kick in. I like lag. I like laggy cars. It has to be like that mid-range kind of lag where it's like nothing below three and then it builds. I don't know. Lag's pretty good. Um, my first time doing this without Zach. It's kind of weird because Zach, I don't know, Zach kind of helps out, I guess. It's kind of weird. Should I put it over there? Yeah. Okay. Next to all the others. Yeah, I think this was a pretty good, this is a good driving car. Um, I would really love to do a manual one now. The automatic's all right. I mean, you could you could, you could, could still feel the boost and stuff, and you can feel it, like, kick down. And it's all right. I mean, whatever. Um, yeah. A little quick. It's got, it's got like, the same kind of little, like, release thing. You can push the button down, like an NX and the, the neon. It was really cool. Um, yeah, a little re quick review on this one. Um, hope you guys liked it. It's a little weird. You don't really see much of these cars anymore, but, um, yeah. It's a cool car. Really cool Thank car. Thank you. <laughs> well, hope you guys liked it. Enjoy and uh, subscribe, and hopefully we can get more weird cars like this on the channel. I really love the weird ones. So, uh, yeah, thanks, and bye. That's you, fucking <laughs>